I recall very well when I was a kid, about 10 years old, uh, that I was uh, watching the uh, show Cosmos uh, by uh, Carl Sagan. And I also was fascinated by Star Trek. Space is beautiful, and seeing the stars and the moon by itself is beautiful. Also, it uh, represents hope, it represents uh, discovery, uh, a new beginning for humanity. Uh, looking from space, when you look down at Earth, you see that there are no boundaries. We are all one humankind. I consider all of these as reasons for why I'm into space, but I cannot really pinpoint the actual reason why or when did I really uh, fall in love with space. My name is Faraz Jarrar, um, assistant professor uh, at uh, the mechanical engineering department at Khalifa University, and I'm at the same time I'm the manager of the Assad Space Lab. It takes about two years to uh, design and build and launch a satellite. Through the two years, they take a series of labs where they get the chance to uh, design it, build the satellite, test it, and then operate it and communicate with it while it's in orbit. Uh, so I, I think this is a very unique opportunity that they don't, uh, you will not really uh, find it elsewhere, especially in the, in the region. It's, uh, it's very inspiring also to the students. Uh, and, and they really try to even touch the satellite before sending it, <laughs> just to, you know, have this feeling that we touched something and, you know, not only worked on it, but we had our, uh, you know, hands on it before sending it to space, and now it's orbiting uh, Earth. It's amazing. When it comes to innovation, um, each, one of, each one of the satellites by itself, um, I believe, to be uh, innovative because we are uh, demonstrating new technologies. Currently, we have a new project. It's going to be a 6U CubeSat. So this is much larger than the other CubeSats that we worked on. And uh, it's going to have a, a propulsion system, uh, something that we are developing and um, building here at the university. It's always been like a dream of mine, as I said. But sometimes there were like moments of doubt that it's a very uh, distant dream. But when the first satellite and MySat-1 reached orbit and uh, sent us uh, the first beacon, at that point, at that point, I really knew that I'm living the dream and it really happened. So far, all of our satellites are orbiting Earth. And um, what I'm dreaming is to go beyond, to go and orbit the Moon or Mars or Venus. <laughs>